Their great pyramid never ceases to keep giving. Some revelations from the base measures of the great pyramid. Well, I often put an X over the corners of the pyramid when I'm working with it because satellite views aren't always directly from on top. But the base measures of the Great Pyramid, if we look at its perimeter, uh, 440 royal cubits per side, or Sir Flinders Petri's average 755.7 feet. So those are the dimensions of the base of the Great Pyramid. Okay. So there are 18 Egyptian inches in a cubit. So there's 444 cubits, as we just saw, for each side of the Great Pyramid. Okay, so when we take that perimeter, it equals 3168 Egyptian inches. Thus, each side of the Great Pyramid is 792.0 Egyptian inches. Okay, so it's interesting that the diameter of the Earth is 7920 miles. You've got the same number there, the 7920 and the 7920. The Great Pyramid reveals that it knows the shape of the Earth in many different ways. It's a scale model of the Earth. Okay, so let's look at connections to precession in the, in the Great Pyramid. So precession, of course, is this uh, 26,000 year cycle that uh, the wobble of the Earth uh, goes through, creates a circle up in the sky there. So it's 25,920 years, so that's 60 times 432, okay? The Great Pyramid is a 143,200 scale model of Earth, okay? So, and also the ancient metrology has a long cubit of 21 inches, well known in the ancient world. So if we take that to be the perimeter of the Great Pyramid, it's 432 long cubits per side. 432, 432, 432. So these processional numbers are in the Great Pyramid, which is a scale model of the Earth, okay? And it's interesting that uh, I just hit, not that it's a big subscriber number, but 4.32 thousand subscribers to my channel. That's one of the reasons I did this program. Okay, 4.32. All right, so connections to precession. Okay, so 72 times 360 is the number of years in the processional cycle, 25,920. Okay, so we just saw that that number of years is 60 times 432. So you got 72 and then the 60 is 6 times 72, so we're getting the 72. Now, it just so happens, my friend Robert Grant has shown that Da Vinci intended his Vitruvian man to be 72 inches tall, maybe the ideal height for a man or something, but 72 inches in the Vitruvian man, which has the angle of the Great Pyramid in it, 51.84 degrees there. And the reed is also a well-known unit of ancient measure, so if we use the reed, to do the perimeter of the Great Pyramid. It's 72 reeds per side. So this processional number 72 is all over the Great Pyramid, including re being revealed in its base. Okay. Interesting that today there's a total eclipse in South Africa. It's only there, there pretty much that it's, it's total. But uh, here's a representation of what happens at a total solar eclipse, okay? So the moon's diameter is 21,060 miles, and the sun's diameter is 432 times 2, 864,000 miles. Uh, it's, that's 400 times bigger than the moon, you can see there. So it's interesting that the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun, but it's 400 times closer to the Earth. This alone allows a total solar eclipse to happen. Amazing. Some people think that the moon was an artificial satellite because it's placed in such a perfect place. The wonders of creation, the mysteries of Egypt. Okay, there we go. Well, thanks for watching. We just looked at some interesting revelations from the measures of the Great Pyramid. Please subscribe. Please tell others about the channel its and please comment. Thanks for watching. On a day of spring that casts a hope to be reborn.